Hello, everybody. Welcome to Wednesday. And we're going to continue learning about functions and modeling and predicting change. And what we're going to do today is we are going to learn how to write an equation of a line from a table. Okay. And so what you need to do is if you go to your Canvas assignment and just open up these slides, you're going to do them with me and then submit the answers when you're done. But what we're going to learn about is how we can read the y-intercept in a table and use that y-intercept to write the equation of a line. Okay, so I know when we did our notes uh, the other week on the y-intercept, if you remember, I said when we got to this point from a table that we were going to save a lot of this <coughs> for another lesson. So as you're looking at tables, you're going to look for the y-intercept in the table, and it's going to be where the x value is 0, and you have another number with it. Okay? So if we come over here to our first slide, here we have a table of values. And I know that uh, last week you were typing tables of values into the Desmos graphing calculator, and you were finding the equation of the line that way. And I can tell you that would be my preferred method to use the technology to work smarter and not harder. But the reality is you may not always have the Desmos feature available to you. And additionally, at the end of the year, you're going to take your end of course test. And there is a calculator inactive portion of that test. So you may very well be asked to identify which table has a certain equation that matches it or something else to that effect. So this is a useful skill that I am showing you today. All right, so what it says here is given the following tables of values, write and graph a linear equation that represents each relation. So remember that word relation means it is a set of ordered pairs. All right, so what we need to do to do this is we need to find out our m value, which is the slope, the b value, which is the y-intercept, and then we simply write the equation of the line. All right, so to find my slope first, okay, we know that the linear model is represented as y equals mx plus b. So the slope or the rate of change is my m value. So if I take the table of values that I just had, All right, and so when I have a table of values, I'm looking for the change in y over the change in x. And I write that as a ratio because slope is the ratio of the change in y over change in x. So when I start with y, I have 4, 6, 8, and 10. So my pattern here is I am increasing by 2. So that means my change in y is going to be 2. Then if I look here at my x values of 0, 3, 6, and 9, I am increasing by 3. So that means my x value there is, or my change in x is going to be a 3. So my slope for this particular table is 2 thirds. All right, so we'll come back to our slides over here and in our text box. We'll type 2 thirds for m, which is my slope. Now, the B value, which is the y-intercept, like we have here in our, in our notes, is we're looking in a table for where the x value is 0, and whatever y value corresponds to that 0 x value is my y-intercept. So if I come back here to my table, and I notice here that where x is 0, y is 4. All right. So I'm just going to highlight that for the sake of clarity. So my B value or my Y intercept is going to be 4. So now when I go to write my, the equation for my line here as Y equals MX plus B, I'm going to have Y equals 2 thirds X plus 4. And that is the equation of this line. So the instructions say to write and graph a linear equation that represents each relation. So I'm going to come over here to my Desmos graphing calculator, 
and I'm going to type y equals and then 2 slash 3. Now, the way you get the x is on the bottom right-hand side of your screen under, or of your keyboard, excuse me, underneath the shift key is an arrow that faces to the right. So just press that arrow that faces to the right. It'll put your cursor there. You hit the x plus 4. And that's what that line looks like when it's graphed, okay? So then we're going to take a screenshot of this. And paste it on in. So there is the line y equals 2 thirds x plus 4. And you'll notice here that your y-intercept, which is where your line crosses the y-axis, is at 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay? So let's move on to the next example. All right. So this one says, given the following tables of values, write and graph a linear equation that represents each function. All right. So same thing. We'll start first with finding our slope again. So the linear model is the y equals mx plus b. All right. All right, so again, I'm looking for my change in y over change in x. So my change in y, I'm going 5, 10, 15, 20. So I am increasing by 5. So the change in y is going to be 5. Now if I look at x, I have negative 6, negative 3, 0, and 3. So over here, I am increasing by 3. So my change in x is 3. So that means my slope for this particular table is 5 thirds. So m is 5 thirds. Now b, remember we said the y-intercept is wherever x is 0. So if I look here at my table of values, I notice that up here x is 0 where y is 15. So that means my b value is 15. So when it comes time to write the equation of the line, I'm going to write y equals 5 thirds x plus 15. And then I'll go over here to Desmos. 5 slash 3. Again, use that right arrow key to move over there. X plus 15. Now, for this one, you might just have to zoom out a little bit. But here again, you could put your cursor right there. And there's your y-intercept, 0, 15. It's the point where your line crosses your y-axis. So 0, 15. So we'll go ahead and screenshot. And there you go. So there's a graph of the line. And so again, you could see that right here is where your y-intercept would be. So you've got your y-intercept represented here in the table, here in the equation, and then here on the graph. Okay? So I will leave 4 through slides 4 through 13 for you to do on your own. Okay? I think you could probably handle it. We've been doing uh, linear functions 
now for about two weeks. So I think you could handle this and handle using Desmos. But if you need anything, uh, it is Wednesday, so I'm in meetings all day. But you can certainly email me and I will respond immediately if I see your email. Okay, so have a great day. And if you really, really need my help on this, um, I could probably meet you on Google Meet at three o'clock this afternoon. Okay, so let me know what you need. And I look forward to giving you another lesson tomorrow. Have a great day, everybody.